All right, hello everybody. Um, interesting topic that just popped up on Facebook and dug a little deeper, and it, it is apparently true because several media sites are picking this one up. This one is from the Washington Post. Trump w wants e-cigarette industry to pay a hundred million a year in user fees. So interesting. Um, some of you might be already aware of this because I did post it in a few groups on Facebook. But uh, pretty much what it's boiling down to is the Trump administration basically... I don't know if you could really say that they're trying to save the vape industry. But... I guess more of the administration is taking a more stance on the so-called teen vaping epidemic. So, it's basically saying funds would go to beef, beef up regulatory oversight by the FDA, which we are not subject to fees or, as a lot of us are calling it, tax. But, uh, That's pretty much what it's coming down to. Um, a few people are commenting on my posts in the groups. But uh, Trump's budget plan said the user fee proposal for e-cigarette industry would ensure that the FDA has the resources to address today's alarming rise in youth e-cigarette use as well as new public health threats of tomorrow. So, not only is it the Trump administration acknowledging the so-called teen vaping epidemic. So, what are the public health threats of tomorrow? That part I'm not 100% sure of. Um, could be anything. I don't know if they're referring to the e-cigarette industry or flavors. Um, overall, basically, they're asking for $6.1 in FDA funding, a $418 million boost over the current budget. A big chunk, $2.8, would involve, uh, involves user fees from drug device and other industries. <laughs> so, are they, is it strictly just from us, or is it basically across the board? Um, this is very interesting one. Um, budget request includes increased promote medical product innovation, food safety, and blood supply safety, which is weird because I don't think we need it. Uh, the FDA Center for Tobacco Products is funded entirely by user fees. Extending the requirement to e-cigarettes would provide more resources as the agency tries to combat, combat youth vaping and assesses the risk and benefits of e-cigarettes for use for adults. So they're acknowledging that there is benefits but also risks probably referring to the injuries sustained from e-vaping over the last few years. Vape break. which pretty much is from user error. So it looks like they're trying to tax us to support their funding across the board. If I'm wrong, please say so in the comments, guys. You know, I don't mind being corrected here. <coughs> uh, pr the proposed fees on the e-cigarette industry would be imposed on manufacturers and importers of vape devices and e-liquids that would have to be approved by Congress. So that's an interesting one. So not really us, well, in a sense it would be on us as a consumer, but it's more on the manufacturers. So basically everything's gonna cost more. And would have to be approved by Congress. So, interesting. So even though the administration is putting it out there, it still has to be approved by Congress. Uh. 
Liz Mayer, a strategist for Vapors United, criticized the user fee proposal as this is a tax, not a user fee, which a lot of us are in the groups are agreeing to. Um, user fee is a lingo for Republicans and conservative Democrats to use when they are about to hike taxes, but don't want to admit that that's what they're doing. The, she added that the government should pursue policies to keep vaping taxes low and c encourage adult smokers to switch to e-cigarettes. Totally agree on that point. You know, that's all we're trying to do is get people to switch, be healthier. In a statement, FDA Commissioner Scott Le Godleap acknowledged e cigarettes may be use a useful tool for adult smokers wanting to quit cigarettes, but they must be put through reg regulatory gates. We, me personally, and I know some others, we understand that, but reasonable. Reasonable regulation. That's all we've ever really been wanting. Um, to assess their risks and, risks and benefits. Okay. However, no t child should be using an e-cigarette. Completely agree. Um, because researchers are still invest investigating long-term effects of e-cigarettes, such as whether vaping ingredients can harm the lungs. Um, from my own personal experience, I've been vaping for pretty much four years now, and I was at the doctor's not that long ago, guys, and I had a CT scan, x-rays on my whole upper body, and they said they look great. So, already right there, can it harm the lungs? It's already kind of been proven. Uh, no. Uh, Senator Jeanette, um, Janine Shaheen, I am probably said that wrong, uh, looks like a Democrat of New Hampshire, welcomed the user fee proposal. Of course, the Democrats would love that. Nothing was similar to, les uh, noting it was similar to the les legislation she recently input, introduced, I hope to work with the administration as I rally bipartisan support for my legislation in Congress. She said, so far no Republicans have signed on. So interesting. So far the Republicans are unsure and the Democrats apparently really welcome this. So, very interesting there. Concerns that the FDA about youth vape vaping skyrocketed after federal data showed that e-cigarette use among high school students rose to 78%. As we have said, show us the so-called federal data. Which we know you're too chicken shit to actually show us. Officials say they want to prevent a new generation of children from being addicted to nicotine. Which they say raises the risk they will eventually smoke regular cigarettes. Bullshit. I'm pretty sure there's already some studies out there that show there's no linkage to that at all. Under the administration proposal, the Center for Tobacco Products would receive $812 million in user fees for the next fiscal year. And that's pretty much the end of the article, guys. My thoughts on this um, could be a way to save flavors and devices. But at what risk? Are we going to have to pay twice to three times as much to do it? Again, guys, if youth want to vape, they will find a way to do so. Just like they find a way to get cigarettes. I did it as a young age. Just like the alcohol. I found a way to get it too. Others will find ways to get it. They will never be able to 100% shut it down because they haven't been able to do it for alcohol or tobacco. They can't even do it for drugs. So how in the hell do they plan on doing it for vaping? I'd love to hear you guys' comments in the video down below. And seriously guys, let me know what you think. So I would love to know your opinion. As always guys, love you, and I'll see you on the next one.